So hello everyone. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Alyssa. I post a lot of reading and writing videos on YouTube. I am a published author, so I talk a lot about my writing and publishing experience on here, but I also do a lot of book hauls, book reviews, and other book challenges. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for being here and I appreciate all of you guys. So this today will be a book outlet haul. I did recently make an order through book outlet and I just received my package. I actually already made another order at Book Outlet, so I will be doing one of these probably in the next month as well, since I have some new books coming my way already. So the first book that I purchased was by Ali Hazelwood. This is Love on the Brain. I have actually not read a contemporary romance by Ali Hazelwood. I've only read Bride, and Bride was like a five-star read for me. I loved it. I know most people who read that book didn't feel that way. I am a fan of paranormal romance. So for me, that was right up my alley. And I thought Allie Hazelwood's writing was really great. I think a lot of people who are used to the, her contemporary romance and then switched into that supernatural romance were a little thrown off. So for me, it worked. And I am curious about all her other contemporary romances now. I think this is one of her most highly rated books. It is, I believe, in a trilogy. And so I've actually already ordered the second one. And that's what's coming from Book Outlet now. And then this is the first book in that series. I am really excited to read this one. Next up is a book I'm super, super excited about. Another five-star read for me. So this is Serpent and the Wings of Night by Carissa Broadbent. This was one of my favorite books and I think it forever will be. But since it's on Kindle Unlimited, that is how I read it. And I love this book so much that I really wanted a hardcover copy to keep on my shelves in my office. And so this was on sale and I couldn't believe it since this book normally retails for about like $25 hardcover and I believe I got it for $5.99. The slip on the cover, I actually, I'm not a huge fan of Carissa's covers for this series, but I was so pleased when I opened it because it is beautiful. So once you remove the cover, you can see there's this beautiful art on the very front and I love the spine as well. And then the very back says, never trust, never yield, always guard your heart. And I just really love it. So I am so excited about this and I probably will buy the second one to display with it. Next up, I bought Anatomy, A Love Story. So this is a really highly rated one. This is a Reese's Young Adult Book Club recommendation. I have read some of the Reese's Book Club recommendations in the past and I really did enjoy them. And this is a young adult love story as far as I understand it. I think it's a fantasy setting. And again, really highly rated. It's really popular on BookTok and BookTube. So I'm really excited to read this one. And also the art is beautiful. This is a hardcover and I believe I also got this one for $5.99. Next up is The Fall of Ruin and Wrath by Jennifer Armentrout. This is also a hardcover copy. And to be honest with you, I don't know much about what this is about. I'm gonna assume it's fantasy based on the sword on the front and I did happen to open this to a random page and it was like the steamiest scene so I am a little bit excited for this one it's not necessarily what I thought it was going to be but I again keep an open mind when I buy these books and so I'm excited to see what this one's about next is a book I actually have not heard almost anything about I looked it up on Goodreads and it got pretty decent reviews and just the concept seemed really interesting to me this is Stepsister by Jennifer Donnelly and again I haven't heard much about this one. I don't believe it's YA. I think it's an adult fantasy. I believe it's based on a retelling of Cinderella, although it's from the stepsister's point of view. I love these kind of fairy tale retellings. So I'm really hoping this one is good and lives up to my expectations. Next, I picked up Wayward by Amelia Hart. This is another beautiful color, if you can't tell by the wallpaper behind me and my shirt. <laughs> I'm a big fan of these Victorian kind of florals. And so I love the background for this cover. And I also love love the raven or crow on the front. So this one's really beautiful, hardcover book. It is pretty large and I don't really know too much about this one. It does seem like it's set in World War II and I think it's kind of a thriller, but I could be wrong about that. So this one, I'm really curious to jump into. It gets very high ratings on Goodreads and Amazon. And if you've read it, let me know in the comments. Then I purchased God Killer. This is one I actually knew nothing about. I'm in a virtual book club chat kind of forum and someone who had actually recommended 
recommended book outlet to me had purchased this book. So I just kind of went off their recommendation. This is a rather short novel and this is by Hannah Kainer. It says it's going to be great for fans of The Witcher and I am a fan of The Witcher and this definitely seems like it's going to be a fantasy. Next up, I have a young adult thriller or horror book. This is Five Survive by Holly Jackson. This is a hardcover copy and I have not read a Holly Jackson book before. One of my favorite booktubers reads a lot of her YA horror and so I just wanted to jump into it. Again, this was $5.99. It's not really a huge investment if I end up not liking it, but her books are highly rated. Five Survive is one of her most popular ones and she's also written A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, which I also got off book outlet and I've been meaning to read. So that's on my physical TBR as well. Next book I'm going to mention is The Burning Girls. This was one I've actually never heard of or heard anybody talk about, but when I was on Book Outlet's website, it was listed and caught my interest. And so I looked it up on Goodreads and I believe that the Goodreads ratings were good as well. So I did end up purchasing it. This one's also a hardcover and this is by CJ Tudor. This one says, a dark history lingers in Chapelcroft. 500 years ago, Protestant martyrs were betrayed, then burned. 30 years ago, two teenage girls disappeared without a trace. So this is going to be a very interesting thriller or horror book to get into. I'm really curious to see if I like it because no one's talked about this book as far as I've heard. So I'm really excited to share my thoughts with you guys once I'm done reading it. And the last book I wanted to mention in this book outlet haul is The Stolen Heir by Holly Black. I kind of shame myself because Holly Black was one of my favorite authors growing up. I'm not sure if any of you watching were a fan of her Spiderwick series, but that was my whole life for many years. And I haven't had a chance to read a lot of her YA or adult fantasy yet. I do have Cruel Prince. I own the whole trilogy. And my understanding is that this is kind of a sister series to that. So I might be wrong, but I think that this is set in the same world as The Cruel Prince, but it may be different characters or maybe a different time period. So I am curious to get into this one. I do have to read The Cruel Prince series before I do jump into this, but I feel pretty confident that I'm going to love her writing since I already have read her whole Spiderwick series and grown up loving her fantasy. Thank you guys if you've made it this far in the video. I love doing these book outlet hauls. I actually hadn't heard about book outlet until I was in one of those virtual book clubs and someone had mentioned it. So if you guys haven't checked out Book Outlet, you really should. This is not sponsored. They do often run promotions where every book is $5.99, whether it's hardcover or paperback. And if you check pretty regularly, they do have a lot of really popular bestsellers on their website. I even managed to get a couple of the Throne of Glass series books off of Book Outlet for only like five bucks. So I definitely recommend checking it out. They also have great coupons. But again, this is not sponsored. I just just really love them. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you being here. If you did like this book haul and you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, feel free to subscribe and please give this a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in my next video.